In the previous lesson, we observed that due to low fidelity, we were unable to capture the geometry within the vein region. Variable fidelity allows us to apply detail in areas of small features, while the larger parts of the domain can use the automatically generated voxel-based mesh. Additionally, only increasing the global fidelity may not allow you to capture enough geometry detail as it will refine all the areas in your geometry, whereas local refinement allows us to increase our simulation detail or resolution in only a portion of our domain, allowing for more accurate and efficient solutions. In fluids, we can only add local sizing to the surfaces. In 2024 R1 release, this feature is still in beta inside Discovery Explore mode. To turn on this beta feature, go to the file menu by clicking at the top left corner of your discovery screen. Then click on the settings. Inside settings, you need to go and select advanced options. Here inside the advanced option at the bottom, you will see all the beta options available with the 2024 R1 release and you must select local fidelity for fluid simulations in Explore to turn on the local sizing feature in Discovery Explore mode. After turning on this option, you can close this window. If we go back to the fidelity section inside the simulation tab, we can now see that this option is available. One important thing to note, in our 2024 R1 release, we can only apply local fidelity to faces and not bodies or edges for CFD simulation in the explore mode. Let's apply some local fidelity to the veins, inlets and outlet faces to capture more physics in those areas. Here I am applying a local fidelity of 1 mm to the veins by selecting the faces and then entering the value. For inlets and outlets, I am applying a local fidelity of 2 mm. For global fidelity, we are going to decrease it to 10%. You can hover your mouse on the global fidelity bar and then hit space on your keyboard to set any particular percentage for the global fidelity. If you wish to monitor your GPU memory usage, we recommend a third party utility like GPU Z and not the Windows Task Manager. Before proceeding and hitting on solve, let's review the size preview. To do this, turn on by clicking on size preview under the fidelity section inside the simulation tab. If you hover your mouse over the veins, you can see that local fidelity of 1mm is applied to that region. Similarly, if you hover your mouse over any of the outlets or inlets, you can see that 2mm local fidelity is applied to the inlets and outlets. Now let's hit on solve and wait for the solution to complete. Once the solution is complete, Let's review our results. Click on the streamlines from the result arc and set our view to positive Y direction from the view arc. Zoom in to the veins. Here you can see that after applying the local fidelity, we are capturing the veins and the flow is going downward as expected.
Let's also review our mass flow monitors that we created earlier in this course. Here I can see that for the rear, we are getting different mass flow rates as compared to the front. Additionally, notice that there are four vents in the front compared to two in the rear. Therefore, for the upper mass flows, we want to achieve a two to one ratio and for the bottom vents, we want to achieve a one to one ratio between front and rear. For that, we will vary mass flow rate to identify the correct inlet value so that we can get 2 to 1 ratio for the upper mass flows and 1 to 1 ratio for the lower ones. In the next lesson, we will learn how to set up and run a parametric analysis or parametric sweep study inside Discovery to get the optimal inlet value for our configuration.